In Scenario 7, we'll demonstrate the persona-based dashboard features of the unified ArcSight platform. We log in to the ArcSight Fusion user interface as admin to show all available options. This is the single pane of glass interface to everything ArcSight related customized by Persona. Let's see some of the default dashboards available out of the box. How's my SOC running dashboard at the bottom catches my attention. As you may have guessed, this is built mainly for SOC managers. More than just eye candy, this dashboard informs the SOC manager how they can reduce their organization's exposure time by improving the detection and response times. Case timeline is interesting as it allows me to predict future SOC headcount requirements as my data capacity increases over time. Let's check a dashboard more focused on the analyst, Entity Risk. Here I can see the suspicious entities in my environment, which is the outcome of my ArcSight UEBA solution. For the last three months period, we have identified 22 active risky entities in total. We'll now dive more deeply into the creation of flexible dashboards. I shall add a new dashboard to be utilized by all the analysts in my environment. After providing a name to the dashboard, I will build out from a list of available widgets. Here, active list is good for reflecting key outcomes from our correlation engine, whilst analytics pipeline gives a high level overview from our behavioral analytics engine. Going down, I'll add the case breakdown widget, as I'm also interested in the SOX case statistics. While case workflow analysis is critical to visualizing how the SOC is performing. A broad range of widgets combining data from across our various solutions are available to select, as we see here. For this dashboard, I will focus on the top risky entities. So I select the relevant widget from the list, again from our behavioral analytics component. I'll add this widget several times and then adjust each copy. I can fully customize the layout to best present the chosen result sets, each in a format suited to the type of data it represents and dynamically updated from their respective data sources. Whether that be the correlation or behavioral analytics engines or from our fully integrated SOAR component. For each widget, I can customize the data that is displayed. Here, I have configured the top five riskiest users domains and websites, all based off the same widget tied to our behavioral analytics data source. I'll set this as the default dashboard for my analysts based on their specific role within the environment. Now, when an analyst logs in, this is the first dashboard that they will meet. I will now show you our administration page. Here, I'll create a user and assign her to our default analyst group. We'll now look at some of the roles and permissions based per persona. Conducting threat triage, searches, managing the system or SIM content development are completely different tasks and we provide all the atomic permissions for selection and assignment to the appropriate group facilitating full segregation of duties.